look at what's happening in Northwest Arkansas, like we always do. Of course, this weekend before the game, head out to Hogtown. Yeah. There's so much going on down there. If you missed Elvis being here with us in studio, he talked about uh, all the things that they have going on at Hogtown. It's food, it's music, it's all the things. It's a great space for Razorback fans of all ages, located on Maple Street, just north of the stadium. Several activations, including food trucks, inflatables, and more. Live music is going to be provided by Funk Factory. Uh, you can hear the band starting tomorrow at 1030 and lasting all the way up into a half hour before the game. And then if you want a double dose of Funk Factory, they'll also be playing at Georgia's after the game. Wow. Yeah, busy day for Funk Factory. And the Razorback football team isn't the only t game in town this weekend. We've already talked about the baseball fall classic happening tonight, but what about some hockey? The Razorback Hockey Club will take on Dallas Baptist University on their home ice at the Jones Center in Springdale. There's a game tonight at 7 and on Saturday at 315. You can see right here they tried to teach Jackie and I how to play hockey. It didn't go according to plan, to say the least. But if you miss them this weekend, they do have a series back at home next weekend against the University of Missouri. Here's your reminder that the Creative Community Center in Fayetteville, they're having the pottery on the patio. If you remember, we had Bryce on the show to talk all about it. That event happening tomorrow from 4 to 7. Attendees will enjoy free art, live music, food trucks, beverages, all those things, as well as a pottery wheel, mini lessons, sidewalk, wow. chalk mural. There is a lot of things happening. Go over to our website. That's where we've got information. You can see that interview from Bryce. I love that. Yes, that looks like a great time. Uh, the Single Parent Scholarship Fund Dry Pantry, they're dangerously low and they're calling for donations. With the cost of living on the rise, single mom and dads, of course, need your help more than ever. So if you take a look at your screen right now, you're going to see specific items you can donate. You can drop off these donations at the organization's office or you can mail them in. And we have details on how you can do just that over on our website. Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism Secretary Stacey Hurst announced that nominations for the 2023 Arkansas Food Hall of Fame. Guess what? Those are opening up tomorrow. Right. Now in its seventh year, the program celebrates Arkansas's culinary heritage. Nominations will be open on their website through the 31st with categories that recognize culturally significant restaurants, proprietors, food themed events that celebrate food heritage from every part of our state. So if you want a full list of categories, head over to our website and hopefully we can see some NWA locations on that list. That's right. Yeah. And you met him earlier this week and now he's a finalist. Pup Gordon is one of the top three on the 2022 People's World Cutest Rescue Dog Contest presented by the Pedigree brand. The winner of the 2022 World's Cutest Rescue Dog Contest is going to be revealed on October the 2nd and we'll get a custom photo shoot feature in People Magazine and on People.com, a year's supply of dog food and a $1,000 donation to the pet rescue organization of the winner's choice. Public voting is now closed, but that is what caused Gordon to get in the top three. It's up to a panel of judges now to decide the winner. You can learn more about Gordon, his owners, and his story or details on any and all of these happening in NWA stories. It's all over on our website, gooddaynwa.com.